This video is brought to you by Squarespace. So I just wrapped up production on a feature-length documentary that should be out on my channel at the end of this month. Put it together by myself, it was a ton of work. And the whole process got me thinking about DIY filmmakers and artists, and specifically a book by one such creator in particular. This is Rebel Without a Crew, a rags to riches true story by motion picture director Robert Rodriguez. He directed Alita, Battle Angel, Desperado, Sin City, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, Mexico, the Spy Kids flicks, and many others, but before he found his way to Hollywood, he was just an amateur 23-year-old filmmaker from Austin, Texas. Like a lot of kids today, he had a camera and an idea for a movie. Rebel Without a Crew is essentially a diary written during the production of his first feature film, El Mariachi. In this book, Robert details every step he took to get the film completed and eventually distributed by Columbia Pictures. It's not a glamorous story by any stretch of the imagination real-life filmmaking rarely is. In order to raise the seven grand needed for the movie's production, Robert subjected himself to paid experimental clinical drug testing. I guess McDonald's wasn't hiring. <laughs> That's a joke, but seriously, if you're a filmmaker and you want to get some money together for a movie, don't, don't go this route. Just work at a grocery store, right? After eventually getting all of the cash together, Robert taught himself all of the necessary skills to be a one-man crew, and then he began assembling the pieces necessary to bring his neo-western action film to life. The movie eventually was released in theaters and went on to gross two million dollars, a micro-budget movie in 1992 that includes shootouts, thrilling chase scenes, scenes in lots of different actors and locations was simply unheard of, but Robert Rodriguez wouldn't be denied. This book follows his journey all the way from idea to completion, and reading about the creative process of bringing the picture to life is truly inspiring. Somehow, someway, with a low-budget camera and even lower-budget equipment, El Mariachi became one of the most celebrated films ever. It was selected by the United States Library of Congress for preservation in the National Film Registry for its cultural significance in propelling the independent filmmaking movement forward. Whether you're an aspiring filmmaker or an artist, or even if you just dream of one day creating a business or making something by yourself, if you can find a copy of this book, give it a read. It was incredibly influential for me growing up. It helped me to realize that with enough dedication and hard work, it's possible to create something even if you're starting from almost nothing. Robert was working off VHS tapes most of the time. He used a microphone that he bought at Radio Shack to record all of the film's audio. He used friends and family to populate the movie, and yet he managed to pull off some remarkably elaborate and impressive stuff. After finishing El Mariachi, he was eventually moved to make the 10-minute film school, which I'll link to in the description. In just a little over 10 minutes, it shows how he used creative solutions to tackle some of the biggest challenges that come from making movies on a shoestring budget. Robert Rodriguez is the perfect example of a young young filmmaker ahead of his time. What many YouTubers can only aspire to do today, he was doing 20 years ago. 20? 30? Oh. The truth is, nowadays, there are an army of Robert Rodriguez's out there, and the roll call is growing every day, thanks to the World Wide Web. Platforms like YouTube allow the next generation of independent filmmakers and storytellers to be seen by millions of people. All of them are using tricks and techniques that were originally pioneered by filmmakers like Robert to bring their unique voices and stories into the world, many of them without even realizing it. This copy of the book even includes the shooting script in the back so you can see exactly what Robert and his team had to go off of when putting the movie together. Isn't it crazy how with enough motivation, determination, and inspiration, you can turn something like this into an 81-minute movie that can generate way more revenue than it was made with and eventually encourage an entire generation of aspiring artists into telling their stories too. That's what Robert Rodriguez did in the summer of 92. As Robert himself writes toward the end of the book, work hard and be scary.
This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you've built something, chances are you want to share it with others. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence or even run your business. So if you've got a portfolio and you want to distribute it, Squarespace can link with your various social media profiles so you can easily cross-post on various platforms all at once. If you've got a story that you're writing, not only can you design a site to host it, but Squarespace gives you tons of insight into your site's traffic. All of the analytics about your audience are at your fingertips. Squarespace wants to help make it easier for you to make the stuff you love. Want to give it a shot? Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Austin McConnell to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.